Okay, so I just did a Whole Foods run. Uh, as always, I went for like two things and I left with a bag filled with Sumo oranges. If you know, you know. Um, a bouquet of flowers for the babes. I feel like, you know, Valentine's Day is so catered to the women and the girlfriends and the wives that it's like, maybe if guys got flowers and desserts on Valentine's Day, they'd like the holiday a little bit more. I'm not saying that I'm particularly obsessed with Valentine's Day. I'm more or less obsessed that the color schemes are totally up my alley. Shades of pink, peppered with reds. I know that those typically two don't go, but in my mind, it looks beautiful. So this is why I love Valentine's Day. And honestly, a little bit of chocolate covered strawberries never hurt anybody. So yeah, I saw a bouquet of flower arrangements, roses, the gamut. And I was like, I want to buy myself flowers. And then I was like, no, wait a minute. I want to buy Mark flowers. So I bought him Valentine's Day flowers. I also bought um, this ginger lemon health aid that I swear to God, I may not express it enough, but anytime I went back to the West Coast from being in Toronto, my first go-to was to find this stuff because it is just, oh, it is so good. The flavors that they have, it's just perfect. I know that kombucha has like a level of alcohol in it, but this doesn't because it's not like usually they'll say like contains alcohol and the cashier is going to card you but I have noticed sometimes with I when I overdo it with the kombucha like have one every single day I feel very weird after finishing this and please let me know is one bottle one serving like should I not be it's less than 500 mils so I feel like I should be okay drinking, consuming this whole bottle. Anyway, so I've taken a break from kombucha. I'm back at it because I was craving ginger like nobody's business. And yeah, so now I'm just gonna head back to the house, unload. It is Friday, 4.19. Glad it wasn't 4.20 because I did not want to be that person nothing of nothing against that person I just it's for harder you know it's like it's five o'clock somewhere it's 419 in my world and it's a Friday and it's raining and I have no plans tonight none none and that's okay maybe my plans are just gonna be to watch some TV I started watching only murders in the building Flip and love it. Honestly, flip and love it. If you have Disney Plus, I don't know if it's on anything else, but only murders in the building. If you're into comedy, Martin Short, Steve Martin, Selena Gomez, you will want to check out this adorable new show. Okay. I'm almost 100% certain that Mark is waiting for me at the house. So I should probably get going. Oof, is this delicious. Yeah. I am so cold. <sighs> the ice, like I just might as well be wearing skates right now. I really don't mean to sound bitter, but I am, kind of. I'm like, I don't mean to sound bitter, but I kind of am. I basically slipped into my car and my battery's flashing. Love. Okay, I'm just gonna talk until it dies. I'm cold. 
I just did some work at a coffee shop. I came to not quite downtown Toronto, but like on the westish end of Toronto into this cute little pocket. I drove by the coffee shop, had no idea what it was called, and I was like, ooh, that's the one I would like to work at. So I just did some work there. It's minus one, but it certainly feels like minus 12. Oh, I need to warm up. Yeah, all right. It is Tuesday. I am so ready for it to be Friday because next week is week eight and every eight weeks I like to give myself a complete week off. Uh, it's going to be the first this year and the first of its kind because I've never done that before. So hopefully it's not too hard because there are some deadlines that I have and I am going to try my best to finish them this week so I could have truly a week off next week and I don't want to cheat and I don't want to cave and I don't want to be like oh I'll just check my email which I will be doing but just not at the frequency that I am usually during a work week so yeah so it's it's just Tuesday this week Valentine's Day was yesterday it was lovely it was so nice and that's about it for now. I am going to drive on over. I just found a button in my car that I have never seen before. Do I press it? I'm gonna press it. Oh, it just restarts the speedometer. Pedometer. Kilo kilometers. <laughs> Guys, I need this week off. I think I need, yeah. So the theory is I work for seven weeks and then on the eighth week off and I'm gonna do that throughout the year and see how I feel because my attention and my focus has been shit I feel so scatterbrained I feel like I know what ADD feels like now so I have always been sympathetic but it's just too much going on and I don't like it I have so many things on the go that seemingly it all stalls and chokes out because I cannot just put my blinders on and do the one without neglecting the other. And I feel like that's just professionally where I am right now and that's okay and I'm loving the process. But how do I not kill myself in that, you know? I always need to show up and I have to be 100%. And even if it means like the rate at which I'm working slows down or is delayed because of these weeks off. I think that's totally valid. Anyways, I'm also very starving. Am I ever going to have makeup on in these vlogs? I have no idea, but... It is just a reflection of where I am and how my everyday is going. And as you guys know, I like to keep this as authentic and as real as I possibly can. I just finished um, my journal. I always have a journal on the go. I have started journaling pretty regularly since, God, I don't know. 2008 I want to say but I've been journaling my whole life and funny enough this last journal I started in March of 2020 and I just finished it on February 22nd 2022 and as you guys may or may not know I typically don't reread my journal entries hence why heart is so special to me because it is a collection of journal entries and poetry that once I put down I never thought would see the light of day so I always kind of have this vision that like my children or whoever is gonna 
stumble upon these journals and read them one day and have a better understanding of me, who I was, what I went through, how I overcame it. And so, anywho, I just went into the basement and fished out a fresh new journal, which is like a cute little Eastery pink. Oh, sorry, not pink, like a yellow, which is so fitting for the next coming months. But I kind of wanted to sit down and just chat about how long February has felt for me and how I am just like itching for March because it is the promise of spring and warmer weather and winter being more behind us than ahead. Even though Canadian winters are so vicious and it'll be like May and it'll start snowing randomly and then the next day it's going to be like high 25. So I think it just kind of injects more spring when you say it's March. Um, yeah, so productivity has been like a major focus in my life for the last couple of weeks. I've learned that if I don't show up, no one's going to force me to show up. So I have to make a schedule and stick to it, a routine of sorts. And that's kind of been the hardest for me, especially going through the world being upside down and sideways and all over the place. And so without rambling too much, I'm taking it easy. I have really fine-tuned my organizational and schedule scheduling skills that I hope just kind of gets better and falls more into place. I feel like I'm still experiencing some growing pains of that and I think I just have to honor my time and not feel like I have to fill in each minute and each hour with work if that makes any sense like it is so important to relax and veg and I think it's better for me to understand and it, I don't do it as much here as I did on the when I lived in California but in order to do what I do it is so important to live and to experience and to be in life in all aspects of it and feel all emotions of it so I can come back to the drawing board and write about it. And I think the hat that I've been wearing for the last couple of months, dare I say even two years, has been very analytical and structured. And I think the bigger part of me, the creative part of me, the one that wants to experience and live and receive has been dying to do that. And so now I've come to a crossroads of sorts that how do I bridge the two without feeling like I'm neglecting the other because where it stands, I'm a one man show. So I feel like those two major hats have subsidiary hats as well and so it's it's hard to switch between the two I feel like the creative hat is not structured and doesn't have a routine and wakes up and follows whatever whim and just goes with the flow and opens itself up to receive inspiration and you can't turn that on and off and for me that's very much my lifestyle and who I am and I think that's why it's been so hard for me to accept a corporate role dare I even fucking say work um because I just want to experience and live and collect memories and look at flowers and run in fields and listen to streams and meditate and eat really good food and talk to beautiful strangers and just sit by the ocean and just just do that 
So I think not only is that a big epiphany for me, but how to merge those two, I think will forever be a thing for me. And I think until I can grow my team where I have, where I pass down that schedule hat and marketing, marketing hat, ugh, marketing hat and managerial hat, will I be able to sort of find my piece? Um, I think me doing that for now is so important in terms of understanding that role and what I require and what kind of managerial works for me. So I think it's all important and it's all learning and I could all kind of tie it back into the artistic, creative, feminine receiving. So yeah. If I needed to experience this week just to have that thought, I am grateful. Um, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. It does not at all portray the length um, that this week felt like. Um, and honestly, if I vlogged the way the week felt, it would have been even more boring than this one will be. So thank you, as always, for joining. I appreciate you. I see you, and I'm with you. Until next week! <laughs>